What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel if you're new. My name is Alex Costa. And as you can probably tell, I'm not in my usual spot today. I'm actually in London, but I wanted to make sure that I had a place to shoot my videos for you guys while I'm here. I do believe that style is subjective and that you can literally wear whatever you want. It's true, you know, just feel free to express yourself, be you and try new things out. Now, some outfits are gonna work, some outfits are probably not going to work. Then you just take those and you adjust. Now, having said that, I do believe that there are a few rules that just should not be broken. And today, I'm gonna give you guys 10 of them. That's right, 10 things you might be doing wrong without even realizing it. Like for example, being underdressed compared to your date. Look, if you're going out with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your partner, you need to be ready to be on that person's level. You don't want your girlfriend to be wearing a really nice smoking hot dress and then you sitting next to her wearing cargo shorts. And honestly, you should never wear cargo shorts anyway. They're not stylish at all, but you get the point. Khakis, old t-shirts, sweatpants, baseball caps. You don't wanna be wearing any of these items if your date is dressed up. You have to try to match what she's wearing. If she's wearing a nice long dress, for example, you might wanna wear something more formal. Now, if she's wearing something that's a little bit edgier and sexy, you could even wear a leather jacket. That way, you're gonna feel great about the way you look next to her when you're both out and about. And the same goes for when you're going out for specific occasions. When you're getting dressed up to go somewhere, you should always think about where you're going, who's going to be there, and what you think those people are going to be wearing. Is it a casual night out or is it a dinner with your family? Is it work related or you're just going out with your buddies for some fun? Make sure you're dressed for the occasion, okay? Because being the least dressed up guy in a room is never a good thing. Now, being a little overdressed sometimes is actually not that bad. Next up, I think if you guys are longtime subscribers, then you knew this was coming. Make sure to accentuate your outfits with nice accessories. Because even if you're wearing something super casual like a t-shirt and jeans, Accessories are gonna add a lot more depth to your style. And trust me, people will notice, all right? Today's video sponsor is Vincere Watches. As you guys know, I've already talked about them a few times here on the channel. Okay, they make some really nice watches that will make your outfit so much better. They're not those watches that you see nowadays that could be made by any brand because they're just so simple and basic. They stand out and people will definitely notice these when you're wearing them. I actually brought a couple of them to London with me because I knew that I'd be going out and going to work and I wanted to bring some variety of watches with me. So I brought the black one here and then this one here as well, which you guys have seen on my videos already. Plus nowadays, if I leave my place without a watch, I feel like I'm naked. Seriously, my wrist just feels really light, weird, it's just not in a good way. And for me, that goes whether I'm going into the office wearing something more formal or even going out with my friends in like really casual clothing. I just really like wearing a watch. And these will look good in any of those occasions, regardless of where you are, LA to London, it doesn't matter. So if you wanna get your own, definitely check out their website and use the code COSTA for a special discount on their already really affordable watches. But I'm gonna leave the link in the description right below the video. And of course, thank you Vincero for sponsoring another one of my videos, I really appreciate it. All right, moving on. So listen, even though I'd never leave my place without something on my wrist, it's good to know that there's a limit. Don't think that more is better because that is definitely not the case. In fact, it's usually the opposite. So try to get smaller accessories that are going to accentuate either your wrist or your neck and that's it. It also doesn't really work with every type of outfit. So if you're wearing a nice suit, it's probably not a good idea to mix that with a bunch of necklaces and bracelets. So just go easy on the accessories. A watch, maybe a couple of bracelets, and you're good. Next up, leaving the stitching in the suit jacket's vents. And I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that a lot of people don't even know what this is, which is totally fine, because to be honest with you guys, I didn't know about it for a very long time. It's one of those things that people have to educate you, have to tell you about it, otherwise it just goes unnoticed. When you buy a new suit jacket or a blazer, it might come with the vents in the back stitched up. And that's just to keep the shape of the blazer while it's in store or in storage, okay? But right after you buy it, before you wear it, you actually just have to open it up and snip it off. By the way, the same goes for the sleeve tag on your jacket. Some of them have it, and it's just not supposed to stay there. So just snip it off right after you buy it. In number six, we have the guys who only wear sneakers. And look, I love sneakers, all right? I have, I probably have way too many sneakers, to be honest with you. I have, you know, expensive rare sneakers. I have really trendy sneakers. The thing is, you have to know when to wear them. You can't really wear formal trousers with Yeezys. It's just not a good look, all right? Plus, to be honest, there are so many nice shoes out there. Why would you miss an opportunity to wear really nice shoes once in a while? Take the opportunity, dust off those really nice leather or suede formal shoes and throw them on. Plus, there are so many other types of shoes out there like Chelsea boots, double monks, and so many more that will look great. So don't limit yourself, you know, try to explore different styles, especially when it comes to shoes. Number seven, baggy clothes. 
Not gonna lie guys, this is probably my biggest pet peeve, all right? Because it makes you look sloppy, it makes you look really wide, and it makes you look shorter than you really are. And I'm not gonna take long on this because I've already talked about this here on the channel, but I'm gonna give you guys one tip that will change your life. Probably not, but it's a good tip. When you go to the store and you're trying to buy a shirt or a jacket or pants, try your regular size, right? Now take that off, put it aside, and then try one size smaller just to see what it looks like. A lot of times it's gonna be too small and that's totally fine because then you know that your size that you tried on first is your actual size. There's gonna be that one time that you're gonna try the smaller size and it's gonna fit you like a glove and you're gonna look in the mirror and say, wow, I look sharp. Trust me, you might even be wearing the wrong size without even realizing it. Speaking of baggy clothes, there is one specific item that should never be baggy for any reason. Well, actually, unless you're an athlete. If you're an athlete, then maybe. All right, and I'm talking, of course, about swim trunks. Back in the day, it was cool to wear baggy swim trunks to the beach or maybe to the pool, but guess what? Those days are long gone. You wanna wear something that's cut above the knees and that will show off a little bit more of your legs, all right? It makes you look thinner, it makes you look taller and in better shape overall. Again, I'd recommend trying a smaller size just to see what it looks like, or you can go for a more tailored style swim trunk those look really, really nice and you're not gonna be disappointed. Next up, guys who match everything perfectly. When you're wearing a suit, the pocket square, the tie, the shirt, those things, they bring a pop of color, a pop of fun into your outfit, right? But when you match them all perfectly down to the tone, it's kind of boring. And the same goes for your shoes and your belt. We do have that little rule, but it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? It can be the same color, doesn't have to be the same exact tone. So live a little, try different things, and you know what? Step out of your comfort zone just a little bit on this one. Now let's talk about the guys who are too lazy to dress up. I am all for comfort, guys. I love being comfortable, but it doesn't mean you should dress like a slob just because you're feeling lazy that day. Because you know that that's the day, for some reason, that really hot girl you're into is gonna sit right next to you. And there's nothing like that feeling of, oh man, I really wish I wore something nicer. And by no means am I saying that you should wear a suit and a tie to go get groceries, all right? That's not realistic. What I'm saying is you can wear sweatpants, just wear nice sweatpants, all right? They don't have to be the old baggy sweatpants that you have. Don't wear dirty t-shirts, you know, especially if you have clean ones sitting there in your closet waiting for you. Wear those instead. Basically put very minimal effort at least so that you're not embarrassed if somebody recognizes you on the street. Guys, don't forget to check out today's sponsor, Vincero. I'm gonna leave their website linked in the description right below the video. You can use my code COSTA for a special discount on their website. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be part of our YouTube family. I do videos on grooming, hairstyling, fashion, and much more. And then of course, guys, follow me on Instagram because I have a few photo shoots coming up here in London, which I'm really excited about because I'm gonna get some really cool pictures up and running on my Instagram soon. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Peace.